Right Ascension Backlash. What is that? How do we deal with it? Can we deal with it? Is it hard? Is it scary? Let's find out. Okay, so back to our main mount now. Yeah, that's right. Belting back here again. Uh, we are going to try to compensate for um, uh, back, uh, backlash in the right ascension axis. And the way we do this is, I guess most, most people have heard this a million times, is to balance the mouse east heavy. And if you have the meridian here, south that way, north this way, then west is that side, east is that side. So I want it to be heavy on this side of the mount. Yes, Balti, what do you want? A cookie, yeah. We'll see about that in a minute. Anyway, uh, so you want to have it heavy on this end, on the east side. Now it's fairly nicely balanced. So what I do is I just push up this counterweight, just a touch. Let's see until we can detect a, just a slight, slight unbalance on the other end. Now this is only. This means that I need to have it. Uh, overweighted on the east side of the mount of the of the mount, uh, which means I need to know what target I have so I know on which side my OTA will be on. Because now I'm, um, I'm picturing this like I'm going to target something with my OTA on this side, and it means it's on the unbalance on the east is only going to work as long as the OTA stays on this side of the meridian. If we have a meridian flip, I will need to uh, rebalance everything. So, but anyway, get to here, feel we go. There we go. Slight imbalance, just slightly. Anyway, so what's happening now is that let's see my fingers here as some axes. And this is my worm wheel, and this is my uh, worm shaft, worm gear shaft, driving the worm wheel. Now, <clears throat> if my worm wheel wants to turn um, from uh, uh, east to west normally, that's the way we want to track, we want to have it turning that way. Yeah. Now, if I'm east heavy, that means that if that, this is my um, east to west motion, if I'm heavy on the east side, that means that if I let this go, it wanna track, it wanna move back that way. And this is my worm uh, gear shaft. So if my worm gear wants to push it that way, but the mount wants to turn that way if it's left unclutched. So it means that now there will be naturally be a pressure from the worm uh, wheel onto the uh, worm gear uh, teeth. On the pushing end, so I'll naturally just push it along, and there will be some natural pressure on this teeth. Now it doesn't really matter if <clears throat> if it's unbalanced uh, or if it's perfectly balanced or balanced east heavy, doing like this. But if we want to change direction when guiding, that means that if it's perfectly balanced, if I stop here, I need to move the teeth in the worm <clears throat> uh, shaft needs to move over this empty space and get in contact with this. The teeth on the other side, and this motion and a sudden contact will usually cause some kind of little vibration or some little jerky motion or something in the mount, and we don't want that. <clears throat> so what happens if we got it unbalanced is that now there's a natural pressure. It wants to go this way. So if I now want to turn my mount the other way, my worm <coughs> wheel, my worm gear is going to start pulling this way. But the natural imbalance of the worm um, uh, wheel on the axis means that it's going to follow the worm gear around. So I'm actually, if I'm guiding the other way, I'm not actually pushing the mount around. I'm actually just letting the mount uh, move in its unbalanced direction. Usually, you don't. I mean, it's just not going to track that way. It's just going to. Uh, correct for motion, just a tiny touch. So it's actually not going to um, require a lot of force. It just needs a little bit of, you know, that um, unbalance, the weight, gravity pulling it 
the way I want to counter to go the <coughs> opposite way of tracking. So that's east um, uh, east balance um, uh, method for uh, dealing with uh, right ascension backlash error. Yeah, yeah.